Kids are heading back to in-person learning in September, and many parents are concerned about air quality and ventilation as factors that impact the spread of COVID-19 in schools. In our online Q&A with Professor Jeffrey Siegel, an expert on the matter, a viewer wanted to know whether a single portable air filter machine would provide effective protection for a class of 25 people. I wouldn't necessarily advocate taking a, a, a unit that's designed for a small room a uh, small bedroom and bring it into a classroom. You know, you have to do some sizing calculations to make sure it's sized appropriately. And then there's another issue, you know, things in schools get um, used quite heavily. So you want to make sure it's something relatively robust. But, but if you go through that sizing process, um, and, you know, I do this a lot of the time, there's lots of great online calculators, you can get to any air change equivalents you want. It's just a question of, how many units you need in this space and how much noise you're willing to tolerate. And potentially you might need to use multiple units for a big classroom. And then on the question of when you should change the filter, change it when the manufacturer tells you to change it. Uh, and that's gonna be different for every unit because filters are designed to have different amounts of kind of holding capacity uh, for a material before they need to be changed. Also filters as they load up and get dirtier, they have a bigger pressure drop and in some units that means they move less air. So you're getting kind of diminished performance. And so, you know, it's part of that engagement piece and saying, oh yeah, I've got this filter, I need to change it. Uh, and it's kind of one more thing for, to kind of be on the list of the facility staff in that school. For more from our chat about air quality safety in schools and to submit questions for our upcoming Q&As, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash COVID answers. You can also access the page by scanning the QR code on your screen. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.